Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today we are going to read S5 5077. So, I wonder why so makes bubbles. Another question about science. What is science about? Science is all about discovering how and why things happen in the world around you. It's about everyday things like finding out where water goes when it boils, as well as more complicated things like why we need water to live. What do scientists do? One of the, uh, the first things scientists do is to ask questions. And then they try to answer the questions by looking closely at things and testing out the ideas. We call this experimenting. Scientists sometimes manage to come up with the answers, but not always. What can walk on water? Uh, tiny insects called the uh, pond skaters are so light that they can walk across water without sinking into it. But even pond skaters wouldn't get anywhere without a force called the surface tension. This pulls on the surface of the water, making a thin stretch skin on the top. Raindrops aren't quite round, they're almost flat underneath. Why are water droplets round? Small drops of water are almost perfectly round because they are pulled into the shape by surface tension. Bigger drops spread out, though. They are too heavy for surface tension uh, to work so well. Why does soap make bubbles? Adding soap to water weakens uh, the pull of the surface tensions and makes the surface of the water much stretchier. It spreads out enough for you to blow air inside. It's a bit like blowing up balloons with water. Why do armbands help me to flow? When you blow up your armbands, you push lots of air inside them. Air is much lighter than water, so it helps you to float. But the water helps too, because it pushes up on things. By pushing up on your armband, it keeps you floating on the surface. It's easier to float in salty sea water than in fresh water, the dead sea. Uh, the salty sea, blah, blah, blah. Floating and sinking by finding five things that are light enough to float and five that sink because they are too heavy. Drivers don't want to float to help them sink. They wear a belt with heavy weights on it. Not something you should try. Why do you why do why do sharks have to keep swimming? If sharks stop swimming, they sink like stone. This is because they are heavy for their size. And they don't have swim bladders. They have to keep swimming to stay up in the sea, just like you have to swim or treat water. Uh-huh. Why do I run out of energy? You run out of energy because you use it. Walking, running, and jumping all need energy. Without it, you wouldn't be able to talk, ride, read, or even sleep. Energy is just stored inside your body and comes from your food. That's why you get hungry. Your body is telling you to put back some of the energy you have used. Lots of, lots of things give out energy in many different forms. Here are just some of them. Fire, heat energy, bike, Movement energy, drum, sound energy. Eating a small apple gives you enough energy to sleep for half an hour. Energy is never made or destroyed. It's, it just changes from one form to another. 
the bending of bow stores energy in the bow. This changes into movement energy as the arrow flies from the bow. What is energy? Energy makes things happen. Nothing in the universe would work without it. You can't see energy, but you can see what it does to things around you. Because of energy, cars move and planes fly, lamps give out light, drums make music, and fires give off heat. Train electrical energy, food, chemical energy, torch, light energy. Why does the spoon get hot when I stir my cocoa? Heat energy never stays still. It is always moving. The teaspoon warms up when you stir your cocoa because heat energy is moving from the hot drink into the spoon. Why is the sunlight warm? Sunlight is warm because the sun gives off, gives off heat as well as light energy. Sun's heat energy travels toward us in an invisible street line called the heat rays. You can see them, of course, but you can feel them on your skin on hot sunny days. How do hand, glider, hand gliders hitch lift? When the sun hits the land, the land then warms the air above it. Warm air is lighter than cold air, and it rises up into the sky. Hang gliders use this rising warm air to help them to fly. Rising currents of warm air are called the thermals. How do divers keep warm? A problem with heat energy moving up about is that it sometimes makes it difficult to keep warm. Divers often wear rubber wetsuits in cold water because rubber doesn't conduct heat well. It stops body heat from escaping as quickly as it would normally Things that don't carry heat energy well are called insulators. How do astronauts keep cool? The sun rays are much stronger out in space, so astronauts need special ways of keeping cool. Under their space suits, they wear a suit of stretch underwear, a bit like long johns, tiny plastic tubes run through the under underwear, carrying cool water. The water takes away the astronaut's body heat and helps to keep them calm, keep them cool. Why do I feel cold after a shower? Your body is always giving out heat. When you're wet, your body heat turns some of the water on your skin into the gas water. Gas water vapor. It's changing from a liquid to a gas is called evaporation. You begin to feel shivery after a shower because evaporation uses up heat. What makes bathroom mirrors fog up? After a shower, the air in the bathroom is warm and steamy. When it hits a cold surface such as a mirror, the air cools down and changes back into tiny water droplet. These then fog up the mirror. The change from a gas into liquid is called a condensation. What is sound? Sound is a type of energy. It happens when something shakes or moves back and forwards really quickly. The shaking movements are called the vibration. You hear sounds because the vibrations travel through the air into your ears. Crashing a pair of cymbals together makes them vibrate, sending out ringing sounds. Why do trumpeters blow raspberry? Blowing raspberry is the only way to get sounds out of a trumpet. It makes a trumpeter's lips vibrate. This makes the air inside the trumpet shake too. The air comes out the other and as a musical note. 
Can sound travel underwater? Yes, it can. Sound moves four times faster through water than through air. It can travel such long distances that whales can hear each, each other when they are over a hundred kilometers apart. Why do shadows happen? Light travels in straight lines called rays. When the rays hit something that they can shine through, the light is blocked and a dark shadow forms on the other side. Why can I see through glass? You can see through glass because it's transparent. That means it's clear and it lets the light shine through. Glass is great for windows because it lets sunlight into a room and allows you to see what's going on in the world outside. Can light bounce? When rays of light hit something that they can shine through, they bounce off it. Just like a ball bouncing off the ground, this is called the reflection. We are able to see things because the light is reflected off them into our eyes. In our eyes. You can see yourself when you look down into the puddle because the smooth water reflects the light straight back into your eyes. A periscope. Submarine officer looks through a periscope to see what's happening uh, above the water. Why do my legs look shorter on the water? When light enters the water, its rays travel more slowly than they do through the air. This changes the way we see things. Looking down through the water in a swimming pool, your legs look very short and dumpy. Don't worry, they aren't really. Why do rainbows happen? Although sunlight looks white, it's really made up of lots of different colors. During a shower of rain, the sun sometimes shines through the tiny raindrops that fall through the air. When this happens, the water makes the light spread into all its different colors. The colors always appear in the same order, and a beautiful rainbow forms in the sky. Card, torch beam, reflection light, mirror. Another way to see a rainbow is to hold a mirror in a shallow dish of water, try to bounce sunlight or torchlight off the mirror onto a piece of white card. The water should make the light spread out into a rain, rainbow. Why is grass green? We think things when light reflects off them into our eyes, but not all of white light's colors are reflected. Some are soaked up. Grass looks green because it soaks up all the colors in the white light apart from green. Can cats see in color? Yes, they can, but they don't see all the colors that you do. Cats don't really need to see uh, bright colors as most of them are busy at night outdoors hunting for food. What is air made of? Air is a mixture of gases, mostly nitrogen and oxygen, with a little bit of carbon dioxide and some water vapor. Vapor. It also has tiny bits of salt, dust, and dirt. You can see. You can see, smell, or taste the air, but you can feel it when the wind blows. How do bubbles get into fizzy drinks? The bubbles in fizzy drinks are made of carbon dioxide. The gas is squashed into the bottle so hard that it disappears into the drink. When the bottle is open, the bubbles have room to escape and start fizzing into the air. Why do cakes rise? When you put a cake in the oven, the mixture heats up and makes bubbles of carbon dioxide. These grow harder. These grow bigger than in the head and make the cake rise. Why do bikes have tires? Tires help a bike to grip the road safely. The closer you the tire and you will see that it is patterned. This pattern is called a treed. 
in wet weather, water escapes from under the tire through grooves in the trees, stopping your bike from skidding. Why are tires full of air? Pumping air into bicycle tires make them springy. They are like a cushion between the wheel and the road, rolling easily over all the bumps and giving you a much comfort, a comfier ride, comfier ride. How do bike brakes work? When you squeeze your bike's brake levers, brake pace, brake pads, scissor in grip each, other, grip each wheel. The pads and wheels rub against each other, making friction which slows the wheels down. Squeeze the levers tightly and your bike will stop completely. Why do we need air? All the animals on earth need to breathe air, breathe the oxygen in air to stay alive. And that includes you. That's because bodies use oxygen to make energy for living and growing. Why do we need light? Without the sun's light, there would be nothing to eat. Plants are the only living things that can make their own food. They need sunlight to do this. Everything else on earth. Uh, feeds on plants or on plant eating animals. If there weren't any plants, we would all stop to death. Why do we need water? It's hard to imagine, but more than two-thirds of your body is made of water, and the same is true for most other animals and plants. All of the living things on Earth need water to stay alive. Without it, they would die. The end.